Well, first of all, I agree that that pressure does, would undermine um, the higher education system. It's unfair for faculty to uh, absorb that pressure to come up with its own funding. I think that, well, it, when elected, I would support uh, certain um, proposals, congressional proposals, uh, that would lower tuition costs and streamline loan processes for students. Um, subsidize tuition because that's a significant source of income and 80% of the students at the university are on federal aid. Um, within, a, hopefully not, but within a few years we might see a, a significant bubble, uh, you know, college tuition bubble along the lights of the real estate bubble uh, that led to the crash in 2008. Hopefully that won't happen, but we need to start working proactively and now by uh, making sure that kids can afford tuition and uh, afford to pay back their loans and federal programs uh, proposals that would alleviate the, that, that burden on, on students would be most advantageous and wise. Um, other proposals such as um, federal match matching grants that match st uh, state funding to higher education is very prudent uh, and very wise. I would su fully support that. What I would not support is um, implementing an accountability system uh, that seems, sounds like a, a lot like a, a common core for higher education uh, that's based on a results, corporate a results model. I don't think that's fair. I don't think it works for secondary education, and it creates a lot of problems, especially because it doesn't involve the input and involvement of academics uh, in that process of adjudicating what is, uh, what works and what doesn't. Um, I find it very problematic to have to uh, put education to a, a corporate metric. I don't think it works. I don't think it's, it's conducive to education and the growth of, of uh, healthy academics.